Here we go. We're setting up our 14 projectors for the weekend show. During the week, we just have one projector to do the projection mapping on the house. And on the weekend, for our walkthrough haunt, 14 projectors and or digital effects. So I'm going to start setting them up now. All right, let's start our projection count with the Big Daddy the main show, the big enchilada, the one used for our projection mapping. So our setup we have for this one, it's our brightest short throw projector, 4,000 lumens, the highest resolution we could get. And that is running off of, of all things, an old Roku player. I had some mic players and have had issues with the sound, so I had this old Roku player, one that takes a USB, and I've been running the show off of that. <laughs> so I have the show loaded on the USB, and then HDMI cable into the back, and that's what's running the show. And then for sound, I have an FM transmitter in here. Let me show you that. Probably hard to see, but we have this FM transmitter. It's powered by USB plugged into the projector. And then the sound is run by the projector as well. So that FM transmitter allows for people driving by to then tune to 87.9 and they can hear the show as it's running. And then for people that are outside of their car, I have this radio here tuned to the same station. That way people walking up can also hear it. Hopefully not too loud to where we're bugging the neighbors. <laughs> so that's projector number one. Projector number two is ancillary to that. I just have a cheap projector here telling people what to tune their station, their radio station to so they can hear the show. And a cheapo projector here as well that's reminding people as they go through the to wear their mask and tells them where to go. They take this path through that archway and into the rest of the haunt. Okay, in the first stage of our walkthrough haunt we have this kind of ratty looking attic scene reminiscent of the haunted mansion of course. So we've got two projectors in here. Got this guy. This is one of the, you'll see the same one throughout the back of the haunt too, but it's one of the cheap ones. Less than 50 bucks. So it's pretty cheap. Runs off a of USB. You don't have to have another an external player. It can just play itself, which is nice. And the speakers are, eh, they're all right, but um, you'll see in one of the other scenes we wanted it louder, so we added some computer speakers. So there's, a projector and it's still too light to probably see very good but this one is casting our shadow of the organist you can see that better in the night shop similarly another cheap less than fifty dollar projector running off USB and that one is casting a shadow of the claw across the face of the clock all right next projector All right, this next one is not actually a projector, but it is a digital effect using Atmos Effects's uh, Eerie Eyes collection. We actually used to have this as a haunted mansion with the arm sticking out of the bricks and it was troweling itself in from the ride, but that kept breaking. So now we've switched it and we've got these creepy critters peering through. And this one is running off a mica player and the video files on an SD drive and then I have an old computer monitor that actually is displaying the eyes and the old computer monitor is VGA so I, I did have to have a VGA to HDMI adapter now one word of warning with the mic is they play good but I've had three of them and Two of the three 
the sound goes bad on them. I don't know why. So that's a, a bit of a warning. Our next projector is this Epson. Epson is not a short throw. But it gives us a nice clear picture on our screen here. So let's get this up and running. It's running off a USB drive on a mica player as well, just like the eerie eyes. Boy, that's another one we'll have to see better at night, but you get the idea. Alright, next projector. This one is a short throw, about 3,200 lumens. And I got it refurb for less than 300. And that's gonna project Atmos Effects' moon onto the side of our house here. So that's also using a, a mica player. Now if you hear that weird sound, not sure if you can hear it or not. No, it's not making the sound. Oh, there you go. That's what my sound sounds like out of a mica now. I don't know why that is. So the projector's fine, the video's fine from the mica player, but the sound's bad. So, all right, let's go look at the next projector. I've lost count of how many we've looked at. Got another cheap, less than $50 one off, running off the USB drive. This one we definitely won't be able to see very good until it gets darker. It's a Spectral Illusions tombstone projection onto this gray tombstone. Now you're starting to get the idea why I have so many projectors when they're as cheap as they are. Got this one running, Mr. Chicken's Ghoul. With this kit, it comes with this face that you can project on. Now you'll notice with these cheaper projectors, you can see the lines, the pixels, the squares. You won't get that with the nicer ones. But when you're seeing the effect at night from back here, it's good enough. All right, next projector. Another Atmos effects. Jack-o-lantern jamboree. Running off of, uh, I think this one is a Total FX, Window FX brand. I don't remember where I got this one. And these guys, we wanted to be able to hear their jokes. So we have some old computer speakers that we just stuck in the aux jack. That way we can hear them really good. All right, moving on to the next one because the Jack o' Lantern Jamboree is one of our favorite. We also have them over here on bigger pumpkins. Using another cheap projector. Now it's nice though. I mean, this these, even though they're cheap, you can do USB, you can do HDMI, you can do VGA. Not bad for how much they cost. And even though it's not completely dark, it's bright. It's pretty bright. It's bright enough. Our next digital effect is another computer monitor hidden inside this tree that we made. So, Hauntworks. Oh, <laughs> there's an Easter egg for you. Ralph from The Simpsons. We threw that in randomly just as a joke. <laughs> now, before Hauntworks was Hauntworks, Hauntworks is run by my nephew and he's got a, a gift for Adobe After Effects and visual effects. But a couple years ago when he was younger and still playing with it, then he made us this digital owl that you see in here. So it looks fun at night to have an owl sitting inside the tree. And this is just a computer monitor shoved inside this concrete tube. And it is playing off this player. I don't remember what brand this is. Let's look. By E. <laughs> it's got HDMI and it's got VGA and can play a USB drive. 
Okay. All right, next one. As we're going through our little spooky forest here, on the back of the spooky forest, you get the idea. Another cheap projector running off USB. And then we'll have spooky eyes from Atmos Effects peering through spooky forest. All right, we got one more that we're using. So this last one is a cheap one. A few years back, Amazon had a kit from Total Effects. It's like 10 bucks. And it came with a projector, some effects, a screen, tripod. So at 10 bucks, even though it's not a great projector, we snatched up a bunch of them. So you can kind of see the pixels on this one. The resolution's not great, but it's $10. So, even though I've got 14-ish effects that we're running tonight, I think I have three or four more of these that we haven't used. Very small projector off the USB. And there you go. That is the 14 projectors. And one of our very tall guys. <laughs>